Welcome to another Wednesday's Word. In 2 Corinthians 8, Paul's writing the church about an offering they had promised to give. It wasn't anything that he demanded from them or begged for them, but they willingly said that they wanted to give to help out with a famine that had happened in Jerusalem. The unfortunate thing that happened, though, is they never made a plan. They talked about doing something for God and for others, but they never actually got around to doing it. On the other hand, there was another church in Macedonia, which is where Philippi was, so the letter to Philippians, where even though the church was poor, out of joy and generosity, they gave, even though they didn't have much to give. The Corinthians seemed to be a little bit more affluent, and so Paul was telling them, hey, it's time to start doing what you said you're going to do. But a few things are happening here. James Clear talks about the difference between motion and action. In motion, what we do is we think about doing things. We consider it, we do the research, we make plans, but we don't actually do anything. It's like people thinking about losing weight. They buy fitness books, they look at fitness articles, they join fitness groups on Facebook, but they never actually stop eating cookies. Then they wonder why they don't lose any weight. It's because they did a lot of action, a lot of motion, but no real action. They never got on the treadmill, they never laced up their shoes, they never put down that third slice of pie. In the same way, we talk about doing many things for God. We talk about generosity, but actually doing it is so much more difficult. The other thing that's happening is that sometimes money gets in the way. In 1 Timothy, we'll see the verse that where it says, the love of money is the root of all kinds of evil. It's not money that's the root of evil, it's the love of money. And generosity is healthy for the people who give as much as those who receive, because it forces you to consider, do I love my money or do I love the Lord? Am I looking to myself to make myself feel safe and, and valuable, or is it God who does that for me? And so this week, as you consider your own generosity, is it something you just talk about, or is it something you're actually doing? Does your confidence come from your wallet or from the God who gave everything to us? All right, have a great week. God bless.